it's the Sun Rails here, and today we have the third installment of the Thrift Store Nerd. Uh, today we'll be stopping at um, Goodwill and Salvation Army. Stay tuned to find out what we find. Alright, so our first stop was over at uh, Goodwill in the west end of Peru. Walking into the building here. Oh. Uh, yeah, there was. She found it. Oh, I and then, uh, taking a look at this uh, exceptional parking job that this lady in the uh, black Buick. Uh, yeah. Walking into the store now. Um, just, uh, nothing too interesting today. As far as, uh, like, quick scan on the top shelves. There was a lot of people here today, so I didn't, so I didn't really hold the camera up, up much. So, uh, so that people didn't think I was being suspicious or anything. Here you look at the shoes. Nothing interesting. I thought I seen a pair of bowling shoes, but if I did, I would have shown you on the camera, but I didn't, so. Hmm. Taking a look at the furnitures and other assorted items. Um found this nice little uh, centerpiece for a table. Around the other side here, um found that trampoline. Didn't think anything of it because again nothing interesting to me. Taking a look at the puzzles. Um didn't find anything interesting. I did find that Tonka truck here. Kind of looked like my grandpa's old truck. Uh, and I was thinking of buying it just to paint it up and look, make it look like my grandpa's old truck. Cruising by the electronics and everything. I'm a trophy. Thinking, seeing some uh, game controllers there. Found this nice turntable. Uh, they wanted forty dollars for it, or else I would have picked it up. On this day, I didn't have much on me right now. At the point, at that mo moment, I only had about um, uh, four dollars on me. But I did end up getting one thing, and uh, you'll see it near the end of the video. Looking through the housewares and other sort of uh, bowls and cups and all that. Ah, uh, sl really slim picking today. Uh, I didn't have, I didn't uh, have much. Did find this Elmo uh, mug. I thought that was kind of cute. Well, that's a new one. Looking around the bottom shelf here, I found this bowling ball here. Um, the Ace, Ace Blue Star. Uh, a rubber bowling ball. So uh, I wouldn't even be able to throw that in a normal house anymore. A lot of people keep dropping their trophies off at these locations. And I don't understand it. You, those are meant to be kept forever, basically. <laughs> Take a look at this uh, vanity, not vanity, uh, dresser here. And this uh, very nice fluorescent pink table. Uh, <laughs> hmm. They wanted about seventy dollars for it, and that's me. Taking a look at the hats and assorted things, I uh, found this yellow hat here with a whole bunch of peace signs on it. Uh, welcome to 2006. Taking a look at the shirts, seeing what we can see. I was planning on getting a few shirts because, yeah, because I need them. I grabbed a pair. I don't know either. Um. So a few of the clips I had thought I recorded uh, didn't actually record. But this is how you get absolutely screwed out of a deal. So I thought I got um a great deal on the sims 3 deluxe um but op upon opening the case the sims 3 deluxe was not even in there it was only the um 
disc for one of the expansion packs. Oh my god. That's how you get absolutely screwed out of a deal. I did, however, um, end up buying a game called Maximum G-Force Coasters, and I will have to review this at one point. It's a very nice um, game uh, that I tested. Um, it's kind—it's of, basically the precursor to Roller Coaster Tycoon. Taking a, another look over by the electronics and other sort of electrical things. Uh, I found this nice little uh, handheld sander. I did also find this nice uh, Thrust Master racing wheel. I uh, was thinking of getting it, but it required a uh, port that I did not have on my computer at, the, at that time. It was a joystick port, I believe. And on to our next store, the Salvation Army. <laughs> This place was basically picked clean too, and uh, there wasn't really much. Ding. <laughs> On the outside of the store, we found this nice selection of tables. Um, Real thick tables too. Yeah, you heard me in the video. Real thick tables too. Walking into the store. Um, I have my phone down right now because there's, again, a lot of people here, and uh, some days you never know um, if somebody's going to think you're a terrorist just because you have this. Going over by the electronics, um, there was really nothing to choose from today. Uh, if I was not stupid and, yeah. Found this nice um, 64 calories uh, Miller chalkboard. Found a whole bunch of these uh, USB GPS uh, receivers. This nice. Don't even know what that is. Looks like a golf club with the head chopped off. Found this nice Zenith phone and a candle warmer. Walking over by the, um, farther down the aisle, um, I found this nice Tech 2 model railroad, uh, controller. Um, this was a find that I thought could have led me to something, but unfortunately it didn't. That was just a fun find. I thought, um, I would follow, like, the, I'd follow the clues. And if somebody's going to get rid of a controller, they'd get rid of their trains, too. Or at least you would think so. That's but cool. that wasn't Isn't the for, case um, like uh, this day. Like, I uh, uh, found some Xfinity boxes and uh, cables. Uh, I mean that too, but, uh, Taking another okay. look down this same aisle. Um, again, nothing much, really. There was some sporting items. Uh, I did find this baseball bat. Looking up at the portraits, a uh, nice golf photo. It was literally just a guy in a kilt um, with a golf club putting a ball into the hole, into the cup. Taking a look over by the toys, hoping I would find the trains that went with that controller, or at least something along those lines. Uh, still didn't find anything. The toys, um, here we see a classic example of uh, school items getting sold for no reason. Oh, this nice little crunch bar pencil holder or whatever that is. There was no, like, trains over by the toys, and I was starting to run out of battery on my camera, so I couldn't quite record everything. Walking around over by the furnitures and other sort of things, uh, found these, found this electric piano. Uh, it doesn't work, unfortunately, right, because it's electric and didn't have any power. And then I walked over, uh, well, I looked over and, uh, found some Legos on top of the, uh, on top of one of these cabinets here. 
decent sign. Taking a look over by the Easter items, uh, nothing interesting there either. Nothing's really interesting in a uh, thrift store unless you think it is. So to me that wasn't interesting, but to you it may have been. On this nice little piano, and yes, it works. Again, nothing much over in this uh, single area of the store. Um, more or less just um, you know, typical furniture things. Uh, uh, today, um, and I think this was today only, they had the um, uh, cabinets closed off. Uh, well, some of the cabinets closed off where you can uh, see in and I don't know what the point in that was it's kind of weird taking a look over by the uh, original glass case that we always love um, there's a few cassette tapes in there but I, I wasn't really interested uh, cables in another case here and I believe um, there was a nice little iPad keyboard in uh, the third one we looked at. Yeah, there it is. Nothing really good over in these cases, though. On this basically nice little this transfor wall. transformer, and, and uh, basically you plug it into your wall, oh, and um, it gives you like a whole bunch more outputs. Like on this nice book of Ferrari cars and Guinness World Records 2002 hell yeah trust me that was that was about the find of the day apart from maximum coasters after getting really pissed off about the um, uh, about the Sims uh, 3 scam uh, yeah taking another quick look over by the Electronicals and everything like that. Um, found that little tripod down there and a few cable boxes for uh, televisions. Again, nothing much. I still have no idea what they're for, but I found more of those red pipes. Um, if anybody can give me some insight on what those are, uh, feel free. At this point, my phone was about to die, so, uh, yeah, I didn't quite get everything that I went through in that store, but we were nearing our end of our trip anyway, so, um, it wasn't really, uh, worth it to keep recording. So, yes, that, this was the end of our, uh, thrift store, uh, adventure for today. This was kind of unexpected, because I didn't really, I wasn't really planning on going thrifting today, my parents just took me today. Uh, the find for the day was Maximum Coasters, Maximum G-Force Coasters for the PC. Um, very nice game, it's kind, the graphics are kind of weird on Windows 7, but, uh, it's okay, I can probably find a fix for this somewhere. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.